Hello guys and welcome back. You're probably wondering where I've been. Um, yeah, I'm just going to cut straight to the point. <clears throat> I haven't really been feeling it. Um, I'm going through a few bits and bobs at the moment. I'm struggling with a few things, obviously, in personal life. Uh, I'm, I'm not depressed, I haven't hurt, don't worry about that. I'm fine in that way. It's more financially than anything, and uh, work's been really busy at the moment. Um, yeah, so I just haven't really had the time. Uh, but so yeah, today, today was today Sunday. Yeah, so I'm just going to be whoring um, farm sim today, uh, both Carmson Farm and No Man's Land. Videos aren't going to be frequent as they were. I think I've already mentioned that, um, but I just, I'm just going to try and upload as and when I can. Uh, but that's uh, it's pretty much probably what it's going to be. It's just farm, farm sim, maybe the odd occasional car wrecks. I've, I'm going to sack off um, Stranded Deep uh, for the time being. Uh, I was just. If the sound on this isn't great, I do apologise. Um, I'm not going to stop and check at all. I just want to get all of this done um, as I haven't got much time. And I want, I want to be able to, on Monday, sit down and then obviously start editing all of this. Um, but yeah, just let me know because I tried sorting obviously the audio, the voice audio. This is a voiceover um, by plugging in my Elgato that I've got um, and doing it that way. But uh, for some reason, it's not. It obviously I've plugged it all in. The screen's working. It's fine. I've done all these drivers and everything. I've downloaded all of them. But when I go onto the Elgato screen, it's not picking anything up. So I don't really know what's going on there. Um, I might just have a look and see whether I can sort a few things out. Yeah, but if the audio is odd or weird or sounds crappy, uh, please let me know. You may have to put up with it for the next couple of episodes because like I said I am whoring this today um, but yeah if it is um, screwed up then it would be because of the Elgato because uh, my TV and the PC is obviously running all through it but then I'm recording it through something else I think it may have, I did have some problems in the past on one of my old channels where it did it and um, but yeah so just let me know but anyway <clears throat> Welcome to episode 12. Uh, we have skipped forwards to June now. Um, so, barley, the barley, should be due anytime soon. Um, either this month or next month. I'm hoping it's this month. Um, I m might be able to get it done. In this video I don't know we just have to wait and see uh, but we're just gonna go through top up the productions obviously being the uh, greenhouses and we'll probably check up on the animals see how they're getting on uh, but yeah we'll take the little I'm pretty sure it's a little Russian truck actually and uh, yeah, we, we take this with the tanker. Uh, if you're wondering why I put so much money, it's obviously I couldn't be asked to record. Obviously, like I said, I was going through some stuff. Uh, I did do a little bit of grinding. I just did some more tree cutting and that off camera. Uh, that's why we got a bit of money. Um, but yeah, so my aim for this video 
um, and you'll probably see it in the title is uh, upgrading the little truck it's just not powerful enough um, I'm hoping the one I've got in mind which I did download is going to be a little bit better uh, it's got more horsepower but for some reason I don't know what it is about this game uh, tractors is not so bad but lorries and the 4x4s they just don't seem to get the traction they just spin especially the lorries the lorries do my head in like seriously do my head in uh, but never mind um, but yeah so I'm gonna do whatever I'm doing now and uh, I will see you once we've bought our new vehicle right guys so here you have it the uh, traditional British farmer sort of farm truck the old Land Rover Defender uh, this is the 90 series, obviously the short wheelbase, the longer wheelbase is a 110s. Um, it's a TD5, got to love a TD5. Um, yeah, I wasn't sport too much for choice of colour or upgrades or anything. I may have to have a look into some other ones. Because uh, I know 19 had a couple, and they were really nice models. There was a 110 as well. And, um, but yeah, so... Hopefully it's going to perform a little bit better than uh, the other one. Yeah, but we'll put it to the test in a minute. And uh, we get some water going.
Right, so that's all done. It does perform a little bit better. It's it's not great though. It's still spinning. Like I said, there's just attraction in this game. It's it's terrible. Um, but yeah, so we're going to spend a little bit more money. Oh, I see the trouble is I'm struggling to find forms of income. The productions like the lettuces and stuff like that. On oh, see, I'm, I'm going to. Um, I'm gonna screw this up now. Is it Hurt Bailu? Well, whatever it is, the one of the standard maps. I had, uh, I think, three or four um, greenhouses on there, and that thing was just chucking out lettuces like no tomorrow. Uh, but this, these ones seem to be taking ages. They got loads of water, um, but yeah. So, and obviously the same as chicken. That chicken coop is maxed out. I think it only holds about 100 chickens so we're gonna buy these two uh, these do hold 360 each um, I'm gonna buy a load of chickens and I'm gonna buy a load a load of roosters not like masses but quite a few because um, if you do read at the bottom it says it livens up the chickens um, so I'm hoping that means obviously it boosts the production a little bit more um, but we just have to wait and see and so yeah i'm gonna have to fiddle around with the uh landscaping tool um etc etc so i will um speak to you once i've done that right so i've sorted all that the chickens f i've got food <clears throat> i'm just gonna check these this field this is the oak field this is field number 23 the free one um, just see if it needs any fertilizer or anything like that because uh, that that will be finished soon as well I think that's July August sort of time that that'll be ready um, knowing our luck that the field I want to be done this month I'll probably be done in July and then both that field and the other oak field that we got will all be done around about the same time knowing my luck uh, also guys I got rid of the small John Deere. Um, it was bugging out. It was just glitching. Like it was juddering when it was like driving. I don't know whether it needed an update or something, but it just it just wasn't happy. Uh, so I've taken the bigger John Deere out, the two smaller ones with the loader on it, and that's now living over at the other yard. <coughs> In the future, we will source another tractor or something to replace that because um, ideally or we replace that tractor with another tractor for this part of the farm um, but yeah we'll just see how it goes um, what else was I going to say oh Jesus Christ I can't actually remember to be fair. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, no, I completely have a brain fart. I've got no clue. <laughs> um, but yeah, <clears throat> so I'm gonna have a look at leasing out our combine ready like I said it could be done this month it could be done next month but obviously don't forget that I've got two two well two days per month um, set up so we'll have two days of June and obviously two days of July um, but yeah so we're going to go with this John Deere, it's cheap, like proper cheap, it's got a good capacity and the good thing about this is we can put the biggest John Deere header on it as well um, so we'll lease the combine, the header trailer and the header hopefully we don't go bust uh, but no I think it'll be alright and uh, yeah so I, uh, what I'll do is I'll probably get them and I'll probably take them and just dump them in the field and I'll probably use the Land Rover to tow the header trailer and uh, yeah we just 
We'll just dump it over there until the field's ready. Um, but yeah. I don't think in this video, obviously I just wanted to explain what's been going on and to get a video out. I think um, this, this video is probably going to be a lot shorter um, than the normal ones. But we'll make it up on the next one. And uh, if it isn't this video, it will definitely be the next video. We'll be starting a harvesting. Summer will will have started. Um, yeah, it's, it's kind of going to be like a mad rush. I think in the next couple of episodes, because like I said, that field's due. Then the oats, there's two oat fields are due a month after. Um. I want to put granola in the ground and I think that's I think you can plant that in July so I've got a prep I've got to bale up the barley field as well then I've got to bale up and obviously harvest the two oats fields and um, put granola in them I'll probably I won't do oats again because we're gonna have loads of oats uh, I might do some barley again, because uh, obviously the chickens use quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so I probably what I'll do is I'll put um, granola in the field that's due very soon, um, and then granola in the field over by the medium-sized yard, <clears throat> and then. Uh, I'll put barley in field 23, which was the field you guys would have seen just a minute ago. That's got the oats in. And then obviously the big field. That will probably be soya beans again. So that well, that won't need any work in it for a while. Um, but yeah, so obviously hopefully we have a good harvest. I've been keeping up on top of everything. I have muddled up like I like you guys would have seen I've rolled all of the fields but when I go over to the thing it says I'm, they need rolling so I don't know whether you have to plant and then roll afterwards um, I'm not entirely sure excuse me I'll have to try it um, and see what happens but most of them are sitting on like 90 597% so hopefully we do get a good yield um, and then we can make some decent money out of it obviously that's the trouble though obviously where all the price, uh, prices fluctuate over the course of the year we are going to have to wait to sell a lot of our stuff um, obviously with the productions at the moment that don't really matter because we ain't got hardly anything um, but that's, that's what I want to kind of get more into now is obviously the productions because it's more stuff for me to do over the course of the year. Um, not, I'm not talking about more like um, greenhouses. Obviously, we will get more, but stuff like um, the factory site, like the bakeries, that sort of stuff. Because obviously, we've got loads of barley. I think we, well, not, I wouldn't say we've got loads. We've got enough at the moment. I think we've got about fifty thousand liters. But like I said, the chickens do horn up quite a bit. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these all loaded up and then take them down and take them down to the field. Right, so that's the combine taken down to the field. The header is on the trailer. We're going to hook the Land Rover up to it. Um, and then we're going to take it down to the field. I have checked the field isn't ready. Um, it don't look like it's going to be ready on this part of June. It may be done in the other half. Um, so once I've dropped this trailer off and left it in the field, uh, that will be the end of this episode. Like I said, I do apologise, guys. Um, obviously about not uploading and obviously how short this video was. I know the last one wasn't great either, uh, but I promise you they will get a little bit better. Minus the sound if the sound is crap. Um, but yeah, so enjoy this last little quick, well it's not even a time lapse, but you'll have some music. 
But anyway, guys, enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you want to see the latest new episodes of Calms and Farm or any other series on the channel for that matter, don't forget to hit that bell button, guys.